So what we've got here is a bit of a, an innovative project because it's a little bit different from a normal erosion control structure that we would see on farms. The way this one works is like a French drain though. There's gravel laid in a trench in front of this broad based berm on the farm. And in, underneath the trench, there will be a tile that will drain that water away. I like uh, a broader base berm. And this particular one here, we did some other burns on other projects, but they're all broad base. I like being able to uh, drive, not going around those at the bottoms and stuff, because that can create a lot of issues with bigger equipment, especially. So on this particular project, we went with uh, smaller berms, but more of them. So we've got a lot more inlets, and and then we got we can use a smaller tile to to collect that water instead of one big drain going to your outlet. Basically, it's got to be sustainable for the future as well. That like in 10 years time here, my kids are going to be taken over as well. You want something that's going to be able to be farmed, and not that in 10 years time you're going to be driving all around these uh, water runs or washes. So as you can see behind me, there's some sloping land that drains down into this control structure. Uh, and that rainwater that lands on that ground, any of it that flows over top of the ground, will be caught in this structure and drain through the gravel into the tile system. The techniques we use to farm, I think it's going to be sustainable for quite a while because um, we don't plow. So if you're plowing or dragging a lot of dirt through the stone inlets, I think eventually there could be maintenance with it. I think we're fortunate in this area too that through the Glassy program and all those uh, priority watersheds that we're fortunate that there is funding for us to be able to fix it. Especially in situations like this, that isn't my farm, it's the tenant's uh, farm, but he was really willing to work with us. But uh, without funding, it would be very hard or very prohibitive to carry on the project that size to do, to do it all on your own. So we're at Medway Creek right now. and We call this the Upper Medway Creek Subwatershed. Uh, and all this farmland around us that you see, including the farm we were just at, drains into this creek. So all the water here originates from the farms. So what people do, what farmers are doing on the landscape, really does make an impact on the water quality in the creek. And the erosion control structures that we just saw, they are reducing the amount of sediment that's getting into the waterways. and effectively improving the water quality here in this creek.